It's actually pretty hard to help Eileen, who by now, not surprisingly, doesn't trust anyone. And she's threatening to fire her lawyer if he continues to try to fight the execution. Dawn told Eileen about our visit to Troy, and Eileen asked for the opportunity to put the record straight about her childhood. Eileen uh, had given a very graphic, moving testimony uh, about Richard Mallory, uh, what he did to her. Then she had been in prison waiting for her execution for 12 years. And she was totally isolated. She was in the woman's wing and there was nobody else there. And she just decided she was done. She wanted to get it over with. Nick, I've been through so much hell. I can't even think of something there right now. And I'm so burning fucking mad about how I'm being, I gotta wait for my execution. I wanna get, get in the fucking chamber tomorrow and leave. And then they play, since, since I waved off, I've had nothing but psychological and physical fucking problems playing with it because I'm on hold with my execution. I'm so fucking mad I can't see straight. And they're just daring me to kill again. Nick got a subpoena to show up at this trial, which in Florida, she was in Florida, they um, give the person who's about to be executed one final appeals uh, appearance. And all of her childhood associates and friends came to testify, and the judge let us in and let us shoot the trial, and then the sheriff let us shoot her in jail and do a long interview with her, and so suddenly we were making a film again. They got me pissed. Hey, United States Supreme Court, you fucking, I'm telling you, man, you motherfuckers keep fucking with my goddamn execution. There's going to be bloodshed. I'm sick of this. Get that fucking warrant signed. And it was just, you know, after hearing the testimony of, of her friends and how totally uh, uh, she slipped through all the social services None of her teachers could remember her. It was just a horrible story. Eileen waited until she thought we weren't filming to talk about the murders. I can't do it. I would never be able to handle a life sentence or anything. And then they've said other things that are really crazy. They do crazy things to the people while they're incarcerated. I'd never be able to handle it. So I'm going for the death. I have to because they're too evil. They're too evil to the people incarcerated. This was her admission when I disappeared and was changing the tape and she thought I wasn't rolling any longer. Uh, of course, because I was wearing my earbuds, I could hear what was being said. Um, where are those earbuds? Was it self-defense? Yes, but I can't tell anybody. Never. I have to go down to the execution. And I knew, you know, I better just stay out of sight and shoot. Um, so we got her sort of admitting that she'd been lying, but, which is what we were trying to get her to admit. I love you so much, man. Take care of yourself. All right. Um, and nice meeting nice you. To meet Take, you. Care. Take care. Goodbye, Eileen. Bye. Bye. See you later. You have a